So I have a sick wife, two sick kids, and now I'm sick. And we are still deciding to go on this trip to go to Texas to see my mom. So I wanted to do all I can early to make this trip as stress-free as possible for Charlotte because she does all the heavy lifting when it comes to us traveling. And this is something that I've learned to appreciate because she really is a goat when it comes to packing up and getting us out the door to go somewhere. Now, making this decision wasn't easy, and it's something Charlotte and I had to process together. And we came to the conclusion that we needed to go see my mom because it's been almost two years. So with the circumstances at hand, we are just going to utilize Charlotte's strengths to do all we can to have a safe trip. Now, Charlotte is a goat at packing, and what makes her good at packing is her awareness of anticipation. She understands what we need before having the need, so we don't have to really worry about anything. And for me, I'm still trying to figure out what my strength is in these type of situations with my... Where are we going today? At Granny's house. Are you excited to see Granny? Yeah. Are you excited to pack with Mom? How are you feeling this morning? I feel like we have a lot to do and not that much time. I'm not usually packing the day of. What time is it? 8, 10. Yeah, we gotta go. Are you, still, are you feeling nauseous or? A little nauseous. A little bit. Are you feeling better? Well, no, because the <laughs> kids got me sick too. Yeah. Okay, Maddie. Here's the game plan. So we're gonna do all the stuff that is not clothes, and we gotta pick out all the clothes. And we gotta fold them, put them in our packing cubes, and then put them in your suitcase and zip her up. Okay, and then we gotta pack up your backpack too. So that's all the stuff you wanna bring on the airplane. You gonna help me? All right, let's do it. You wanna help us? Okay, let's do it. Uh oh, you better go get your blankets. Go get your blanket. Go get them. Go get them. Go, go, go get your blanket. Do you guys want to each pick out one doll? Yeah. <laughs> More packing cubes. Let's zip you up. Ship you to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> we're not really gonna let her. Yep, we're gonna ship her just like this. <laughs> so I have Sunday. Monday. Okay, so I love packing cubes because you can divide them up so many different ways. Like, like that's the girl's main packing cube for like the main days, and then this is all their extra stuff just in case like accidents or weather or whatever. But I just like that it keeps you so organized. You could have like all shirts one, all pants one. You could have a day one. Like I like to organize them differently depending on who I'm packing for. If the fan didn't want to buy these packing cubes, where could they find them at? You can probably get them lots of places, but I'm, I got mine at Target because that's where I go all the time. I hope you're paying attention to what's where because then when we go to the place, you don't have to be going through everything. You just gotta go one pack. Yeah, but you already know how that goes. So you just do your pack and keep thing and I'll do my own thing, okay? So I'm packing a backpack with a few things for the airplane for each of the kids, a couple snacks, their water bottles, just like some little things for fun. I don't know, on the plane and to eat. <laughs> Keep them entertained. You feel like it's important for them to have a bag? I mean, it could be a blessing or it could be a curse. It could either teach them responsibility and they could like be aware of their things and carry their own things, or it could just be another thing for us to carry. So I guess we'll find out. Maddie and Luca, your stuff's all packed up now. Oh, whoa. Luca. Man, Charlotte is so strong with her organization and planning skills in situations like this. And I'm unsure of what my strength is in these situations, like I said. But I realized that I can learn through observing Charlotte and following her direction. For example, I realized that I can download movies that I know the girls would like to watch uh, to make the trip more comforting. And I think this is similar to what Charlotte is doing for the backpacks and by adding a doll and snacks for the plane ride. So just sitting back and observing Charlotte utilize her strengths, I'm learning something in the passenger seat, even though I don't agree with everything that she does. I even use packing cubes for myself. So as I learn and grow, I will gain the confidence in my own ability to plan for the curveballs that outings with two and soon to be three little ones will throw at us. Ready? Can we take your suitcases? Can we take your suitcase? Yeah. You ready to go? Look at my cool suitcase. I know, it's beautiful. Are you ready to show Granny? Are you excited to go? Yeah. I'm going to start taking all this up to the car. I want to go to Juju's house and get her car. We're going to drive our car, but we're going to have Juju take us to the airport, okay? 
Let's take let's take your uh, suitcase. Let's go. I have to hold my puppet. All right. <laughs> Look, are you so excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Bam Bam. So we finally made it. That didn't go as smooth as I wish it would have. Our flight got delayed three or four times. We would have been in Texas already, but it got delayed. We just can't catch a break. Everybody isn't feeling well, but you know, we're making this happen. So I wanted to talk about like why we're going. So we actually were going to go see my mom a couple months ago, but the trip got canceled because somebody had caught COVID in Maddie's class and she was in contact with somebody. So when that happens, you can't travel. So we had to cancel that trip. So we rebooked it. And now when we rebooked it, we all got sick. So uh, we don't have COVID. So we're still taking the trip to go see my mom. Cause like I said, my mom hasn't seen us in almost like two years. You know what I mean? So the girls are growing up and she can't see them. And, you know, we're taking uh, this opportunity to go see her. Even with all this stuff happening, the flight uh, getting delayed 500 times, us all being sick. Um, but yeah, we're making it happen. Thank God. But the plane just got here, and Maddie and Luca are super excited to be going, I'm, and I'm excited too. I just wish we all felt better. So excited to go see Granny? Yes. Yeah. What are you most excited yeah. about? I'm the most excited going on an airplane. Going on an airplane? You haven't been on an airplane in a long time, huh? Yeah. Luca, come here. What are you excited about? Um, it's just one time. What did she say? A one time she said to say. Mm -hmm. A one time she said to say. What? A one time she said to say. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Not good. Feel nauseous. This is a airplane. Mm -hmm. That's like we're going on. An airplane. All right. Uh, so we're going to see Granny. We're going to see Granny. Mm -hmm. So like I said, this wasn't an easy decision to make. It was actually very difficult. But I think as parents, a lot of the times we have to weigh our options and choose the best what's what's suitable for our family. I knew that we can really utilize Charlotte's strengths to be able to make sure that we're doing all that we can. Because ultimately we can't control everything that happens. That's only up to God. And I think that if your heart is calling you to do something with your family, then you should do it if you have all the necessary means to get it done. And I'm glad that we did and I'm super excited to see my mom, but I don't think I'm as excited as my kids are. So excited, Dad, to fly. Okay, so excited to fly? I wanna look out the window. You wanna look out the window, okay. I wanna look out the window. You wanna look out the window too? <laughs> Good job, honey, give me five. Right, we do that, but we'll get the air on as soon as we can and get it cooled off. Hey, look, we're moving. To be our best. We're committed to the Are you nervous? No. No? Gotta get our bags and then we're gonna go see her, okay? Yeah. 